this morning I'm doing a review on this beautiful bag Celine Triumph uh, in the teen size and in the color bronze with gold hardware um, I had this bag for about six weeks now and I have used it continuously for three weeks so I can go over you know general information about the bag uh, and also a little bit about the wear and tear so the size of the bag it's seven inches in width five inches in height and three inches um, at in depth it weighs about one pound and one ounce i just checked it on my scale this morning and the leather outside is a smooth uh, shiny calfskin leather and the leather inside is actually lambskin so it does feel very buttery soft to the touch now the opening is a little bit interesting. I can show you where, so you can click it in. Um, there are two of these little knobs on the side. Only one side opens, the other side is stationary. So when you click on that one side, it, the bag pops open. So you can open this bag with just one hand. So it's pretty easy to use and close it with one hand. Occasionally, I have to fumble to find the clicking for the top part when I try to close the bag. So this bag has three compartments. So there is a um, front, middle, and a back compartment. The back compartment is pretty tight, so I don't usually fit much inside. The middle compartment also has a zipper. And this is my little cell tag here um one interesting thing about the middle compartment is i was able to put um a chanel walk base shaper in it to, um so i thought that's kind of cool because it's exactly the same dimension as the chanel walk in the middle compartment so you can use it to help uh, your bag stay uh, structured And then the last thing I want to show you is that the strap is adjustable. Let me just close the bag. So this bag can be worn three ways. Uh, one is obviously on the shoulder with the long strap. And you can also wear a crossbody easily. Um, and then you can also convert this bag to kind of a shoulder evening bag. So let me show you how I do it. So I do take out the buckle first, and then I'm gonna open the bag. I'm gonna loop this side inside first. And same with the other side. And click it in. So now I can reconnect the buckle. But just notice that it's gonna be kind of reversed compared to when you have it the other way so the collapse is on the inside so now it becomes a short shoulder bag pretty cool huh so i think it has a lot of versatility next i'm going to show you guys what fits inside this bag um so Usually, I just put a wallet here, first layer, then my cell phone. This is an older phone. It's a S10 ga Galaxy from Samsung. Um, I put a few wet wipes here when I travel with my kids, and then I'll put the key on top. In the front compartment, I usually keep receipts. Um, here, right now, I have a mask inside. And close the bag there we go so that's what fits inside so the capacity is pretty small so far I've only seen some scratches on the metal buckle where the fingernail could scratch it and I haven't seen any problem on the leather yet hopefully you can see the picture clearly here
All right, here we go over how I got this bag for almost eight hundred dollars off. Uh, this is this twenty four s dot com sling landing page. Um, I did find this bag here for three thousand one hundred sixty dollars, and it normally retails for thirty nine fifty. Um, so unfortunately, this deal has already ended, and everything has gone back to the regular price. So this is no longer available. But I did find uh, another bag that is for more than a thousand dollar off. It's the Celine Classic bag uh, in box leather, and normally it retails for forty two hundred. Uh, and currently on this website, it is for sale for. Thirty one fifty, I believe. I think it's because this bag is being discontinued. That's why um, they're just trying to get rid of their inventory. Um, so I did order this bag in the burgundy color, um, and it is a beautiful bag. But uh, I had some issues with it being too heavy, and the strap hardware was digging into my skin it wasn't that comfortable to wear um and the burgundy color just wasn't um you know didn't suit my outfits that i typically wear so i ended up returning it but um the three colors are left in this particular uh, bag are the red color with silver hardware and that burgundy one that i showed i uh, just shown you and the green one so check it out Okay, let's go into some pros and cons about this bag. So the first pro obviously is how beautiful it is and aesthetically pleasing it is to the eyes. Um, but I think there are other pros as well. There's um, the option of adjusting the straps so you can fit your lifestyle and an outfit uh, with this bag. And then um, the other thing I want to uh, mention that's a pro and also something really interesting is about this color. Um, under this lighting, it has more of a caramel color, but when you go into like a brighter, sunny um, type of environment, this bag has a nice pinky brown color, more like a deep nude. Um, but when you go indoors and under dimmer lighting it kind of appears more like caramel chestnut color i will add some pictures on the side to um you know kind of show you what i'm talking about and lastly i really like about the versatility of the bag because it can go from uh, day to night work to play you can match it with so many different outfits um, and the strap length i love the adjustable strap length um, so it can fit pretty much whatever style you're going for. The only con I would say about this bag is that it's very small. So you can pack a lot of stuff in it. Um, but I make it work by, you know, putting all my essentials here. And if I do go out with the kids, I'll carry their stuff in a separate, like, canvas bag. Mm -hmm. 